the fifth reason why I don't like tissue expanders, and this is quite, this is something not many people talk about. And it took me many years of doing both tissue expanders and revision cases to realize is that it can distort the chest wall and cause lateralization of the nipple. So what does that mean? So what that means is that when you fill these, like I told you, there's tension, right? If the breast tissue or the breast skin, as it were, was too tight, the tension only has one or two directions to go. One is to go sideways, like that way, and the nipple can get pushed out that way, or it can go deep, and that means your ribs can get bowed. And I've certainly gone back and taken out tissue expanders and seen that the rib is bowed. And that doesn't usually affect it to the point where, you know, you can't breathe or anything like that. But it does mean you need more volume to give the same projection. And projection, just a reminder, is how much that implant sticks out. So this is like a very small projection implant, but this is a much bigger projection implant. So let's say you wanted to stick out a certain amount, which we do for breast reconstruction, you're going to need a bigger volume uh, either that a bigger implant that is heavier, or when you're taking tissue for autologous reconstruction, you're going to need a bigger flap to give you the same end result. Now, the nipple lateralization means your nipple goes off to the side. And to be honest, nobody wants that. 